Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, solve the problems that you you can find the uh, PDF uh, link to below. And uh, so the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, set my calculator up so it knows the equations. So I'm going to define them. So um, x1, so that's for plane 1 of t, is um, negative 3 plus, and then, you know, I, I don't reduce these when I do problems, but, uh, you know, you're welcome to y1 of t. So equal to um, 5 plus and 14 over 40t. Um, and then x2 of t is set equal to, and remember colon equals is control and then the uh, template. So colon equals and 14 minus 20 over 30. That's an obvious one that I should reduce, but whatever. And then y2 of t set equal to 3 plus and then 3 over 30 also an obvious reduction but not doing it okay I get all of that and so everything is defined so if I you know do x1 of t it gives me that back which is essentially what I typed in but it's simplified a little bit uh, if you have the non cast it it actually probably won't do that um, it might give you some kind of error but if you do a uh, menu uh, I don't know actions and then recall definition um, it'll, you know, recall the definition for you. So, um, I have all of these put in here, and what I want to do is I want to try to answer that question, um, where do the paths of these two planes intersect, and at what time do they get to the intersection point? So, I'm going to add a page, a uh, calculator page, but you want it in the same problem, because I need to have all of these uh, functions defined for me. So, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to use the uh, algebra, and then I'm going to solve a system of linear equations uh, with t and v. All right, so for um, x1, I'm going to use t. So that's uh, t is the time when uh, the first plane goes through the intersection point. And then for x2, and remember, all of these are now in your var key, so it's, it's actually faster for you guys to use the var key of v. So I'm going to say v is the time when the uh, second plane passes through. And then y1 of t, whoops, and then that has to be equal to y2 of v. So uh, what this is going to do is, you know, obviously at the paths intersection, uh, the x-coordinates are equal for the two planes and the y-coordinates are equal because it's the point of intersection. Um, uh, but I don't know that they're there at the same time. So I'm going to use this to solve that. I get that. So um, the first plane is there at 220 over 167 and the second plane is there at um, this ridiculous number uh, 4110 over 167 uh, now what I want to do is I actually want to figure out where the point of intersection is so I want to do x1 of 220 over 167 and I want to do y1 of the same 220 over 167 I get that so the x coordinate is uh, negative 402 over 167, and uh, the y coordinate is 912 over 167. And uh, I mean, just to show you, you don't need to do this, but uh, if I do this, um, so I'm going to evaluate x2 at these values. At, uh, so now I'm using v because that's what I used up here. Um, but you can see I'm getting the same thing. If I go up here and change this to be y. Um, so the x-coordinates are the same. They're there at different times, but the coordinates are the same. Um, so that kind of solves the first problem of uh, where do the paths intersect, when do they get there. And you can see the way we solved it. We actually solved for when they get to the point of intersection before we solved for where the point of intersection was. Um, but that's how you can use your calculator to solve this sort of problem. Um, so I'll be back in another video to show you how to find the uh, minimum distance between the two planes since we know that they're not at the point of intersection at the same time. Um, so we're going to go through and try to solve that. All right, hope this is helpful.